Hey guys, Mars thinking here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so the Goku EZA for the Tech Prime Bow LR is available right now. Uh, I mean this is, I'm recording this literally just after it goes live but uh, I don't know how quickly the video will go up. I thought it was going to come out at the same time as all the other events in the morning. Um, I should have double checked the schedule but it is what it is. So to even access the event you have to have done all the stages of the actual Prime Battle Goku event. If you haven't it won't let you in. Um, so obviously make sure you've done those but I mean if you've got him ready to go and you're ready to go on to the EZA then obviously you will have done that by now. So unlike other Extreme Z areas there is only one stage. So we'll jump in here. Uh, 24, oh, okay do I have, oh yeah let's just use that. <laughs> Alright so we'll jump in here. Now this is the event as we've been talking about for a long time and I mentioned it in the news video. Um, you have to use these six units. They all have to be fully easy aid as well as fully rainbowed as well. Um, now, all of the events for these guys are available as part of the celebration. Uh, 13 you get from a, the story events anyway, and they made that farm a lot easier. I do have a video up about that. Um, so, all of these guys are available if you still haven't done it. Um, if you weren't aware of it for some reason. I think loads of people have made videos and guides and stuff, but... Um, you are able to, even if you had to start right now, you are able to farm up uh, all of these guys and get this team put together. So, the event gives you a cooler friend to use. I didn't actually look at this at all. Do they have any... Uh, they have no orb investment and all level 1 links. Okay. <laughs> but the reason they give you the cooler is because he have a, has an all types leader skill. Um, it is only 50% to stats, but he is the best uh, leader for the team. You can't use items, just like any normal Extreme Z area. And here you go, you can see the team here. Uh, fully rainbowed, fully easy aid. I have actually done one run already, so let's see uh, how many medals we get this time. I don't know if it is just guaranteed the same every time, um, because I got nine medals the first time. And I've had a quick check on the wiki. Even though he does easy A in three steps, it's all the same medals. And you need 45 of the medals in total. So if you get nine, if you do in fact get nine per run, it means you would be required to do, uh, what, five runs in order to fully easy A the Goku. So we'll see how many we get off of this run and see if we do in fact get nine every single time. I imagine... That sounds about right, but then at the same time, considering the number of times you have to do the stages normally on a normal Extreme Z area, I'm I'm kind of surprised that you only have to do it five times, because, I mean, he does have a lot of HP, um, but because the team is so specific, like, you have to use these exact units, right? So, in an Extreme Z area, people already don't really like the fact that the units are quite restrictive, but there is a little bit of variation, right? Like, you have a small amount of choice, because there are more than just like six units that you can use. Um, but for this particular one, you have to use this exact team, which means there's not really any sort of difficulty spike. Like the event has a very certain level of difficulty because you can only use the one team. So obviously the team is good enough to do it um, and they're all free to play. They all have to be rainbow. So it's not like any players have an advantage over other players when it comes to doing this event because we're all literally using the same team. So considering that the event is not super hard, as you can just see, we did that clear pretty easily. Um, I don't think I've link leveled any of these guys, so this is probably going to come up like a few times. Any of the ones that are above one, like this one, I think literally came up in the last run. Um, but yeah, let me see. let me see the medals at the end here. Because if we do actually get nine every time, like because I've already done one run, we could literally just finish it off and fully easy a him in this video because uh, it's not going to take a huge amount uh, of time anyway. And then, of course, you, there are missions. Uh, see, I only got five this time. Interesting. All right, so let me, let me jump in again and see. We'll use a stone here because... Uh, I can always use the stamina for link leveling. Plus, if we're going to have to do the stage a couple more times and it costs 25 stamina a time. Um, maybe I got a question mark thing the first time. Does that give you extra, maybe? Uh, I guess we'll see at the end again. So that's interesting. So that means the number of tries can vary. Because I guess 
So far, the highest amount of medals I've got in one go is nine. So if that is the highest amount, then the minimum number of runs you would need is five. Um, but obviously, if you are, since you're able to get less medals than that, depending on how the run goes, then I guess we will uh, have to wait and see. Now, obviously, I guess I did talk about the fact that the teams are basically on the same level for everybody. I guess if you really wanted to um, just make this even easier, make it go far by even faster, you could have link leveled the units that are on the team. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I think other than the in freezer um, and maybe the Raditz for World Tournament if you're free to play or have less uh, options, um, they're probably the only units I would really use. Because <laughs> like the... I don't use any either of the uh, already transformed like Android 13s on my Android team. Um, the LR, like Zamasu in Goku Black's body, I don't think I've really used him on my uh, Realm of Gods team since like he first came out and I did the first bunch of videos. So whilst it would make it easier for you and just make the runs a little bit faster to have these units link level, I don't really think it's worth it. Um, especially like if you were just doing it to do this event I definitely don't think it's worth it because as you can see from this video I mean we took a super attack on the worst possible unit our cooler with the type disadvantage and we still won <laughs> with uh, we easily had around half of our HP um, after taking a type disadvantage super attack so clearly the event is not difficult uh, you do not need to have your units uh, links leveled up. I mean, in fact, when this first came out on JP, I'm pretty sure the link level update wasn't even out then. So obviously they didn't factor that into the potential difficulty level of the stage at all. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. So how many do we get this time? We got the question mark. So am I going to get nine here? Yeah, so I've got nine again. So, okay. So I guess we just have to do uh, the other couple of runs here and see how we get on. But in a way, I I don't know if I am, I don't know if I'd say I'm disappointed. I don't know if that's the right way to put it. But like, it does seem like it's a lot shorter. Obviously, it costs more stamina. Um, although actually, I think it doesn't the hardest difficulty stage of an easy A. Um, take 25 stamina. I actually can't remember. For an extreme Z area, obviously not a normal EZA. Um, but yeah, the event on the whole definitely feels a lot shorter. The fact that it only has one stage and then you get straight to the enemy. Um, he does have a lot of health, but as you can see, like we're not. it doesn't take us very long to like wear him down fully. Um, it's taking, what, like three turns at most to actually finish the whole thing. So really not that difficult. But then I guess you could look at it as uh, this guy is kind of like a, almost like a celebration reward, like Easy A. Um, so it kind of feels more like the fact they're just, they're, it's almost like they're just kind of giving it to you by making the event so easy rather than just like giving it to you as like a login bonus or something. Because um, yeah, I don't know, this feels, I guess, I think I, the main thing I guess is because the preparation for the stage is actually the hardest part that's the most work you have to do is not actually beating the stage to get the medals is that it's actually making the team the fact that you have to farm up all the units um obviously it's because they're free to play like you never really want to waste kai so you've got to farm up all the units farm up the extra copies um to get their extra super attack levels um get them all awakened obviously 13 like i said requires a bunch of like story events that have to be farmed um I know the Int Freezer, when I did my one, has a pretty bad drop rate on his event. Uh, the Lord Slug one is not particularly great either. So I guess, in a way, you could say that's why like the event itself is so easy. Because, I mean, look, we completed it in a minute and 45 seconds. Um, and yeah, it's just... Uh just very easy so it's an interesting way of doing it like the challenge is more <laughs> building the team than it is uh actually beating the event but i don't know let me know what you guys think of that like i like the idea personally because they do it for the freezer as well and one of the units you have to have is this goku for when the uh, str freezer gets his um easy a 
you have to again make up a team of fully easy aid fully rainbow units and one of them is this goku so obviously to even get the freezer you have to do this whole thing to get the goku um but yeah i like that idea where it's like you have to farm up and build up a very specific team they all have to be fully maxed out um and that is sort of the main challenge of it but then at the same time i do think they could still make the event um like slightly more challenging or slightly longer obviously you don't want it to be super hard but then that's what the legendary goku event um sorry the, the prime battle goku event used to be like like when i first started playing the game this was back when there was only the third stage um it was 50 stamina you could only use the super strike units um so i mean if you got unlucky with like bad rotations or bad rng you could quite easily lose and so then that was 50 stamina like wasted and obviously because you need was it like 777 medals to awaken him it took a long time a lot of attempts with a lot of stamina in order to uh easy a uh, sorry easy a to make this goku into an lr like back in the day i mean he was the first lr but like it was quite a lot of work just to get him um, and then it seems like the way they've sort of gone with this one, it's, it does echo that um, strategy, I guess, because to take on the Goku event back then, you had to obviously farm up and level up the Super Strike units to make the Super Strike team so that you could then take on the event. But my point here really is that then once you got to the point of taking on the event, the event was actually hard. Um, whereas this, you've gone through all the challenge, all the steps, used all the orbs, all that stuff to get all these guys fully leveled up, fully rainbowed, fully easy aid. And then you get into the event and then the event itself is incredibly easy. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Again, I think it's a bit, I think it's a bit extreme to say that I'm disappointed that it's this easy. But I definitely expected it to be a little bit more challenging than this so i think we'll probably just cut here and then get to the uh, point where he's easy aid because i have to do a couple more runs at least so we'll jump ahead to there okay so completed the easy a i should have uh, i meant to record it but i've actually already fully easy aid the goku i was going to record the final step but i've come to the mission screen here so you guys can see uh, you got the step one extreme z awakening uh for the goku Step two, step three, and then getting him to super attack 25. So if we accept all of those, these are the rewards essentially for doing the full easy A. So 21 stones um, plus six Kai's in total. So that's pretty good because obviously I used uh, the Kai's to get him to super attack 25. Funnily enough, I actually used four Kai's and one of the dozing Kai's, the 30% one. And uh, the RNG did actually come in for me. Um, so he is now fully uh, super attack level 25. So let us go ahead and have a look at our boy here now that he is fully easy aid. Obviously, we'll make a separate video to show him off and take him into some different game modes. But yeah, fully easy aid. His leader skill is super class key plus four HP attack and defense 90% or extreme class three key HP attack and defense 70%. The weird thing about this is like he's not even the best free to play leader, but I mean his leader skill is not really important. So his super attack now he raises greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and does colossal damage on his 12 key super, which is really good because greatly raises uh, for defense is very useful. And then of course his 18 key super does mega colossal to the damage to the enemy, raises allies attack by 30% and the chance of performing a critical hit by 10% for one turn so if you put him in slot one and get his 18 key super not only is everyone getting a buff like to their attack but they're getting that 10 percent chance to crit which is rolled separately from their hidden potential so you have two possible chances of uh, that activating and then then getting a crit which is really good um obviously his stats are pretty high 20,000 hp 20,000 attack only 13,000 defense but the greatly raising on super is obviously very good and then he has attack and defense 59%, key plus three, plus an additional defense 59% as the first attacker in the turn, plus an additional attack 59% when performing an ultra super, all allies key plus three when attacking extreme class enemies. So this guy is really good. Um, the only thing I would say about him, which is kind of annoying, um, I'll probably have to... I guess I'll have to reverse him and then farm up some extra copies because I feel like with his new kit, 
Uh, my original build for him with the 6 additional and 20 crit is probably not what I really want to do. Um, because obviously you can, with an LR, 18 key super and then additional into their 12 key super. Um, so he's kind of in the same situation as the Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku, where you kind of want to get his 18 key super to do the biggest amount of damage, and then ideally additional into his 12 key super so that he greatly raises his defense, which is obviously going to make him much better for harder events. So I think I will have to uh, actually have a look at redoing his hidden potential, unfortunately. But yeah, that is the Prime Battle Goku, now fully easy aid. I'm definitely looking forward to taking him into some events. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think of the event overall. Are you a little bit disappointed? Uh, are you just beginning your quest to uh, fully max out that team and get them ready to go? And uh, let me know your thoughts on the Goku as well. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to my Discord in the description. Feel free to join in the fun over there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.